this thing on? Okay, it's working. <laughs> What's going on you guys? Welcome to the Drew Deeks channel. Obviously a little, looking a little different right now and it's gonna sound a little different. There's gonna be a lot of tweaks that I'm gonna have to do with the new camera equipment and as it turns out, it's a lot more work to completely change your setup. So uh, that being said, the Habs lose 7-2 to the Sabres in a throwaway game where, you know, we could talk about this game for 10 minutes. I'm not going to, and I'm not going to bore you guys that way. So this is going to be a one-taker here with the new camera, the new mic, and I do have some plans. I'll get to those afterwards. Let's just talk about the game really quick. So Tage Thompson and Jeff Skinner, hats off to them. They basically just uh, dominate the Canadians in this one. I like Thompson's last name. That's about all I like about him. No, he's, he's a fantastic player. Uh, they're even calling him elite at this point, some people, and uh, hard to argue with because he's a big guy, he's skilled, he's strong, and he's pretty quick on his feet too. Jeff Skinner always just seems to have a great game against the Canadians, but obviously the, the Habs getting off to a pretty bad start in this game. Going down 3 nothing in the first few minutes is pretty rare, number one, but it's also very, very bad, as we know. And you know what? I got to give credit to Mar Martin St. Louis for his uh, his candor, I guess, in the post-game interview because he said how bad Montreal's first 10 minutes of the game against Philly were, and they were trying to have a better first 10 against Buffalo, which obviously did not happen. But he said he was right, and he actually was able to have a laugh at the beginning of the post-game press conference. So I really like how Marty doesn't take you know, wins and losses too high or too low. You can only be upset when you lose and really happy when you win. This is not the way he approaches it, which I like. And the good news is also, we're going to be right back at it again tonight against Columbus. So hopefully Sam Montembeau can redeem himself. Now as for this game, the only goal scorers in this game are, big surprise, Cole Caulfield with his team leading 12th and Sean Monaghan with his fourth of the season for the Canadians, who uh, hopefully he continues to up his trade value as time goes on. But let's enjoy Sean Monaghan while we have him. I know some of you guys might want to hang on to him. I'm not necessarily in that camp. I think that we have to look at the fact that we're still rebuilding. And this team is not done rebuilding yet, so this season is still a rebuilding season no matter what the players want to tell you. It's a rebuilding season for the Montreal Canadiens. So that's fine. Not a big deal, really. Other than that, guys, you know, you can look at how poorly Jake Allen played. You can talk about how bad of a season he's had, and he's had a pretty up and down season. I would say he's had some really decent moments, but his save percentage obviously not very, not very high right now. It's like hovering around the 900 mark. And Sam Montembeau, while have, <coughs> excuse me, having played in less games, has played better and has had a better save percentage. So hopefully he can redeem himself from Columbus last week, like I said. But uh, you can put the blame on whoever you want in this game. When you go down 3 nothing, three minutes in, something's wrong. Something's really wrong. So that being said, I'm not going to go into much more on this, uh, on this game. But uh, I told you guys I would put a video out. The lighting, the, the microphone, the camera, everything's different right now. So this is not necessarily how it's always going to look. By the way, I should let you guys know that uh, I'm going to be getting a device that will actually connect this camera to the software that I was using on my last video. So that's going to be... That's going to be good because I can actually get the titles and all the graphics and all the things that I usually do and just make the camera quality a lot better, a lot sharper. Um, the microphone, I'll be able to use my other microphone again. So just stick with me and be patient as I do a lot of experimenting on the channel going forward here. But this new camera looks great. As I come closer and closer, it auto focuses. It makes things nice and clear. Not that I want to see myself that much closer or you guys do either. But anyway... Um, Thanks for watching, guys. We'll see you on the next one. Hit like and subscribe if you're enjoying it. And be patient with me with the new format. We're going to get there. We're going to get there. And if it weren't for you guys, I would not have this new potential format, this new camera. So thank you to each and every one of you. Talk to you guys soon. Cheers.